Did you know that there's a really easy way to create endless practice job interview questions when you're interviewing for any role at any company? So let's dive right in. Let's imagine that we're interviewing for this customer engineering role in India. And our interview is coming up and we're getting pretty nervous and we're thinking, okay, well, how can I practice these questions? What do I need to do to find the right questions and have the right strategy so I'm making sure that I'm accurately and effectively preparing for the job interview? So we're going to take some simple steps and some simple actions. And of course, we're going to do that with the help of ChatGPT. So this is the job description. Then I use ChatGPT to create this fake resume for Sue Smith. And we're going to use these two pieces of data to really help us and drive this strategy forward. So the place I want to start is let's start with something really basic. So we want to create 10 hypothetical and 10 behavioral practice job interview questions for this specific role. There's one really key and small detail that can be incredibly helpful. Sometimes ChatGPT confuses behavioral and hypothetical questions, not all the time, but we just want to ask, hey, can you create 10 behavioral and 10 hypothetical questions based on this job description? And then add that second note, please make sure the hypothetical questions are truly hypothetical and not behavioral. Then we simply paste that job description in and then you'll see it has really nice organization. It will give us 10 really good hypothetical questions and 10 really good behavioral questions. Now let's move on. So it's a customer engineering role. What do we know? We know that in the role related interview or interviews, we're going to get some more technical questions. So then we would create something like asking ChatGPT, please create 25 practice technical job interview questions I might get asked based on this job based on this job description and it's really important that we absolutely are pasting the job description in to make sure that we're getting those great questions and again let's scroll down here I understand this is really basic but this is a great way for you to never run out of questions and then you'll see there's kind of a mix of these questions being straight technical and then there's a little bit of that hypothetical nature in there. It's just always important to remember, we don't always want to just tackle straight technical questions by just answering. You definitely want to take the CFAS approach, CFAS method. So let's move on. Now, what are we going to do once we just do the generic stuff, right? So we've gotten some generic hypothetical questions, some generic behavioral questions, and now we've moved on and gotten some 25 really good technical based questions. Now we want to start to get more role specific. Here's the great news, whether it's Google or any other company, there's usually some data online of how they interview their interview process. For Google, we have a lot of specific knowledge that's going to be really helpful. So I wanted to bring in a specific data point. So for Googliness and leadership interview at Google, we know that they lean on questions that around decision-making, collaboration, culture, and inclusivity. So I'm gonna go back to that same prompt from earlier on. I also know that the Googliness and Leadership interview includes both behavioral and hypothetical questions. So I'm gonna have ChatGPT create these questions from a more generic standpoint. So you see, I haven't added the job description in here because it's irrelevant. This is a more generic interview, so then Again, they do a really good job of creating 10 hypothetical questions and 10 behavioral questions. So that role specificity is just going to be less important for this type of interview. And again, that's knowledge I have, but a lot of times we can find this knowledge online just by Googling it for a few minutes. Okay, so the last one that I want to bring up in terms of the Google specific interviews. Now we want to talk about our GCA interview. That's our general cognitive ability interview. And what we want to be chatting about is we know a common question, and this definitely comes up for customer engineers, but just in general, the open a pastry shop question is pretty common. It's not a trick question, but it's meant to be solved like you're in the role. And so I just basically asked ChatGPT, hey, come up with 10 hypothetical practice questions that are completely random. So 
are these the types of questions that Google's going to ask in this interview? Maybe, maybe not. But what you're going to start to do is you're going to have these practice questions that are incredibly random, and then you're going to be able to practice solving them like you're in the customer engineer role and or whatever other position you might be interviewing for. So whether it's designing a smart umbrella, which might be more product management, improving a public park, planning a mission to Mars, the whole idea and concept behind all of this is we want to practice for success. And so even these random questions, even if you don't get anything like this, it starts to create the mindset for how you might answer one of these questions. Again, they're not trick questions. They're just extremely random. And we want to start thinking about how we would solve them like we're in the role. So the last one, and this one can be built upon quite a bit. But now I coupled Sue Smith's resume with the job description. And I asked for behavioral questions based on the job description and my background. Why? Because I want to start thinking about, well, what are my best examples and how are they going to correlate to the job that I'm interviewing for? And is this going to be perfect every time? No, but it just gives a sense and gives us some clarity around maybe some focus areas that we can be thinking about because what this exercise will specifically do is it will start to help you pull out the best examples from your career. And of course, we can use ChatGPT to fill in our behavioral answers by actually typing in our answer and saying, help me perfect this answer because oftentimes it will fill in the gaps of things we've actually done. I know that this is a very basic video, but I get asked all the time, hey, Jeff, can you send me practice questions? I need more practice questions from my clients, and I always default to this. With ChatGPT or whatever your preferred Gen AI tool is, you will never run out of practice questions. I really hope this short and straightforward video really helps. Thanks.